Hello everyone, welcome to My Favorite Sandwiches. This episode takes us to Giuliano's Deli and Bakery, located in my childhood hometown of Torrance, California, where we're going to enjoy one of my favorite sandwiches, the Torpedo. My buddy Eddie and I grabbed the giant 16-inch sandwiches and found a shaded spot near his home to enjoy one of my favorite sandwiches. I hope you enjoy the video. Please don't forget to like it, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel and click notifications. You guys got the same thing, right? Yep. Okay, so this is gonna be a little bit different because you've never met this gentleman in any of the videos before. This is? Hey, I'm Eddie D'Angelini. And? What and do you do? What do I do? I'm a co-owner of Heidi Ho Comics and the writer, artist, creator of the comic strip Collectors. There you go, and you can read it uh, for free online, but then you're gonna love it so much you're gonna wanna buy the physical copy books. And Everybody you, should read this comic. And you can do all that at collectorscomic.com. Okay, so today we're gonna we're getting one of my favorite sandwiches, and this is the torpedo from Giuliano's here in Torrance. You can see we got the big ones. We're not gonna eat it all. Okay, let's check it out. I know it's kind of windy, so oh look at this. They put the dressing. So I've never got the dressing in the packet. I've always just got it yeah. on the sandwich. Interesting. I wonder if it's a, a new COVID thing. That's cool. So I get mine. Well, I gotta touch your sandwich. Oh well, you're gonna not, you're not gonna have pepperoncinis on yours. Oh, okay. <laughs> my, right. I didn't touch this one. That's fine. Do you want to take that no, one? Don't worry about it. I'm <laughs> okay. Well, I don't usually get pepperoncinis, but I guess I do okay. in this video. Tell you what, here. Grab half of mine, I'll grab that half. Here, go ahead. Go ahead. Hey, there you go. There you go. Get it? There you go. Okay. And we can pick them off. Look, I didn't touch the pepperoncinis. You want to pick them off? I don't care. <laughs> All right, so no pepperoncinis. All right, let's see. Mmm. That's good. But I'm going to get some of this. How do you, how do you get this open? Is there like a... If I can just get it started. Yeah, you see the top yeah, bar. I, see, I got it. Yeah. cut on the side. There you go. It goes, but then it doesn't want to go all the way. It's like my girlfriend in high school. Oh! Ah, she doesn't want to go all the way. I hope she doesn't see this. <laughs> yeah, I'm friends with her. Oh, okay. Amazing mm. woman, by the way. <laughs> How the videos going to be me? She's wonderful. I've never met her, but I'm sure Front she open is. This. She's wonderful. Like most girls that I went out with or dated, they had to put up with me, so. You know, they're amazing. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. Oh. Now this is what I remember. I grew up with this sandwich. So did I. In high school. People can correct me if I'm wrong. But in North Torrance High School, where I went to high school, we had smaller versions of this at our at our lunch. At, um, in our lunch. Um, well, you're lucky. Our lunch. I didn't they, they have had anything them, was good. They had them wrapped up, and you know, every once in a while, mm. we would grab a a Giuliano's um, torpedo. Oh, I love this. I grew up on these too. Um, that Giuliano's has been around. I mean, it's been. It's got a couple of locations. It's been here forever. Mm -hmm. But I remember it differently when I was a kid because it was much more like a. a not that it's not authentic, but like a real authentic Italian. Yeah, it was more like market. A, you go in there, it was like, um, like uh, Lady in the Tramp, like the little yeah. Italian restaurant. You go in there, they have like meats hanging and yeah, it was like old school Italian yep. vibe. And my grandmother back then, I was a little kid, used, would bring, each week, bring her wine jug in there and they would fill it up for her. Just fill up her wine jug? Yeah. Yeah. Because <laughs> they like, they had a house wine that they sold and they would, they would fill up her jug once a week. So it was their brand? I okay. guess, I don't know. I was a little Or their kid, house, so. their house wine. Yeah. Um, I would do, when I was younger, because my, my, um, my grandparents would take me there. And um, my grandfather would let me um, get a uh, thing of salami. You know, just those 
like the, the little like salamis like that. The ones that come, they're in plastic and then they're wrapped in like a little red, like little red, like kind of plastic in the plastic. Yeah. And you pull it up and he would give me a knife. And I was a, a kid, but I got a, he let me use this. Um, he gave me this um, uh, like switchblade kind of knife, like a, like a Swiss knife. Yeah, a knife. And I, and I would sit there and I would just cut the salami and eat the salami. Just like that. And it was just, I just remember being so good. But yeah, this one has always been, when I decided I was going to do uh, these videos uh, about my favorite sandwiches, this was one of the first ones I thought of. Because I just, I, it's simple, you know, it, it's just, it's simple. It's what, mortadella, um, I think turkey, and salami, right? Mm -hmm. And, you know, lettuce, and pepperoncinis. <laughs> Less is more. But, um, yeah, it's just, it's always, and the bread is just so good. Yeah. Less is more with a good Italian sandwich, I believe. In fact, when I was a kid, my parents would go to Giuliano and would get like uh, a loaf of bread, mm -hmm. get like literally one of the dried salamis that were hanging there, and a block of cheese, like good cheese, like uh, Parmesan or Romano or Asiago or something like that, and then would just set it out and you would cut some salami, cut some cheese, open up the bread you wouldn't cut it with a knife you would just with your hands yeah. just rip it open yeah. and then you would stuff it full yeah. of salami and cheese and that was your sandwich i don't know if i said it was provolone cheese in here yeah but yeah it's provolone cheese i always like you know mortadella is one of those those meats where some people think it's fancy but it's basically bologna oh it's the red-headed stepchild of italian cold cuts yeah but i mean when you go to when you go to like like rome okay they sell this sandwich. It's a mortadella sandwich on their bread. That's like a big thing there. They just love it. And and I thought, mortadella, how can that be? That mortadella's good, don't get me wrong, but it's I'm in Rome, bologna. you think you're gonna get some really like prosciutto, like like that aged prosciutto where they slice it off, you know, mm -hmm. right there for you. No, mortadella sandwich, and it was like one of the best sandwiches I had there. It was just so, so good. I want. I kept, that's why I think about that. So you're Italian, so you have higher standards. So this sandwich, you think, is because they keep it so simple. That's why it's so good. Yeah, like I said, simple is better. If you put too much on a sandwich and too much, um, you know, like it literally just yeah. this is like just oil and vinegar that you yeah. do it to kind of moisten it, but. Just give it that little tang. You do too much where you do like oil and vinegar and mustard and mayonnaise and this and that, whatever. It's too much. It overpowers yeah. everything. And they don't put like mustard and mayonnaise. No. Which you don't, you don't. I didn't grow up need, eating you mustard. Don't, you don't it, need that. No, an Italian family I like I didn't this. grow up eating mustard and mayonnaise. So I, like I don't my, like it on my Yeah, my favorite is when, when this soaks into the bread. Yeah. This bread is so good. This bread is what I think Subway's bread wants to be. <laughs> Subway, don't get me wrong, I give props to Subway for, you know, cooking fresh bread and, and, and everything, but it doesn't taste it's as good as this. It's not the same. You got a fly. We had a, in one of our videos, we have, we're attacked by flies. Yeah. I just think of the scene from uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark. On Belloc. Where the fly goes into his mouth. Yeah. You're cool, but are you... Belloc eating a fly and still continuing the script cool? Yeah, no, no one is. He just kept going, yep. you know? He didn't even react, nothing. Mm -mm. Not a flinch, nothing. And you know he knew. Yeah. That's but you cool. gotta figure, if they were filming that, that movie in the Middle East, <gasps> in extreme heat, bugs, flies, at that point it probably didn't even phase him anymore. It probably happened like 50 times a day. But he, and he wanted to get it done because he's in the heat, right? Yeah. It's like it's like right now we're in we're in Torrance, California. It's what it, what is it? 90, 80? What is it? Eight mid 80s. Mid 80s. But the humidity and, is and, unreal. Right and now. I think it's really nice. I grew up down here, but I, right now I think it's really nice. I think it's it's breezy. It's cool. It's really nice. And Eddie's saying we need a place with shade. It's hot. And I say I and where I live, it's like over 100 degrees right now. But it's not humid. It's a it's you know a, a dry heat. But as my friend, um, one of my buddies, uh, Stephen White, says, when he says, oh, it's, it's hot, he goes, oh, it's a dry heat. Yeah, tell that to my wet underwear. <laughs> <laughs> it's, well, it's not 
the fact that it's mid 80s, low to mid 80s. That's okay. Normally it's all right because you get the ocean breezes in midday that comes in it's, and it cools everything off. You open up all your windows, you get a nice breeze going through the house. But it's it's humid as all hell right now. It's, and right now it's not as humid as it was when I picked you up. No, I don't it was bad. Yeah. And, it, and the air was still and heavy. Yeah. There was no breeze. When, when, I, when I... We're actually close to Eddie's where Eddie lives we were going to eat at a park Never. but um, I don't like to see where but we're close and um, we decided to eat here but yeah when I picked him up yeah I noticed the, the shirt getting a little clingy you know because <laughs> I'm in an air conditioned car for like an hour and a half driving down here then I get out and you don't realize it also is like <sniffs> right now I know my other sandwich has pepperoncini I don't know. I've never been a fan. Go ahead. Yeah. I've never been a fan. You love them. Yeah. Right? I wouldn't say love. I don't know. Last like time. I don't know. Last time I had one. a good addition to a family. I'm going to try. Uh, to a sandwich. See, pepperoncini is weird because you think it's not going to be, it's not hot. Mm -hmm. And it's not hot, hot. But when you eat it, you do get the little, you get a little bit little of heat. heat of it. They're not, they're not bad. I don't um, know why I just never, I never really got into them. them. I grew up eating them. I liked them. My grandmother would buy the jar, and I would just pull them out of the jar and eat them. Yeah, so the whole one. See, these are sliced, so it's not as bad. But yeah. I've gone places where they take, like, a whole pepperoncini, and they stick in there. Well, I like them. I've eaten them all the time. Yeah. And it was a very simple transition from... Uh, when I married a Mexican, Mexican to go from eating pepperoncinis to jalapenos. Now, see, that's the other thing. I don't like jalapenos. Now, not that they're hot, because they're not hot at all. For me, anyway, I, mean, I can eat spicy food. I just don't care for the taste. And if I was going to eat one, I would eat the fresh ones versus those pickled ones. Mm -hmm. You know? I don't mind that as much. Some people think the fresh ones are hotter. But it's about the seeds anyway. As long as you take the seeds out, yeah. you're fine. I'm gonna. I don't know if I'm gonna eat this right now, but I I want to kind of just dribble, drizzle. I think I might save this. it for later. Yeah, I just want to drizzle this just so. Usually I don't like it to soak in, but since I'm in control, it can soak <laughs> into the into the bread. I feel like I could eat this no problem. I I could too, but I I, I feel I'm better gonna, not doing it. it. Um, <laughs> Sadly, I weighed myself recently and came to the realization of, oh my God, I weigh the most now that I've ever had in my life. Okay, so I'm going <laughs> to completely, on the record, I'm going to say it. I I have, most I've weighed is 265 pounds. Wow. 265 pounds. And that is recently. My wife is rolling her eyes because she, right now, she's watching this right now and I'm pointing the camera. And right now, I know she's making this face. Because since the pandemic started, I've lost 10 pounds. Really? Yeah. Not doing anything different. Just, you know, and I'm in, eating stuff like this. Um, she's been um, counting calories and doing all that stuff. You want a cookie? We'll use the box. Okay. <laughs> you know? And she'll know I can have three because I got, I always tell her. Yeah, but because she's trying, you know, like she's losing weight. She's lost weight too. She's, so like Good. she said, she's lost about ten pounds. Um, but I tell her it would be more. But I sneak stuff into her food to keep her plump because I like her heavier. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> I don't do it, but that's what I say <laughs> because I told her I said when when we when we went on a trip one time she wanted to lose all weight so she lost a lot of weight and I get right behind her and cuddle and go to bed and it was like less the. It didn't feel right. It wasn't what I was used to. So I was glad because the vacation we went on, we ate a lot. So hopefully. But anyway. So she thinks I'm like taking like some kind of, I don't know, injections of like, what is it? What, like lard. Car lard or carbs or <laughs> like a big thing of like, what is that? What is that? Fam the famous lard, the, the red and it comes in the red Crisco. box. Crisco. Is it Crisco? I don't know. Like the one that comes in the red box. I don't know. I but don't just know. Like, yeah. syringe and they're shooting in there. And like I brought her donuts the other day. She's like, man, why'd you bring me donuts? Well, if you don't want them, why well, didn't say that? Yeah. You know, and, she, <laughs> and she takes them and she takes them. But they were those big, like, you know, the big overdone donuts with like, 
all this stuff. It's just get a regular donut, but I got her the really big, like, it was like a big... I saw the picture you Yeah, posted. a big lemon, uh, pistachio one, yeah. and, yeah, stuff like that. Was, yeah. I have a Push membership. I have a membership press. to the gym. So do I. I, I, I haven't just gone don't, I just don't in go. how many months now? No, I haven't. How many years for me? No, well, I... I um, I don't need to go. They get my money. <laughs> With this pandemic, I haven't gone in so long, and I, I at this point I should just cancel my membership. And because I've inst- excuse me, instead I've been buying like kettlebell weights. But you can't. You can't to work like, out cancel. in the backyard. You can't cancel unless you go like in person, or you go to like a spe- you got to mail it like to a specific like place. At least with my mind. Well, they take I won't, it out. Of- I won't say what 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 gym it is, but it's over twenty four hours. <laughs> well, they they take and they, and they the, specialize in fitness. They take the um, your fee out of your bank every month. Yeah, well, if you yeah. just close, yeah. close that account, yeah. no, they can't. See, get and they're it smart too because they don't do it off your card, like they do with your like somebody will do it with your card. Yeah, you can cancel card, get a new card, but they do it from your actual account. So you, yeah, yeah. This is this stuff is is so good. I don't know if it's just I'm trying like to... their own personal like 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 blend of it. But I like I want I want to kind of just drink it. <laughs> Go ahead. It's so it, it's so good, you Go know. Ahead. It's very flavorful. It's very it's tangy and it's got like a kind of like a fruity taste to it. It's probably because they use some type of balsamic vinegar that's made with fruit. That's what it looks like. Because it's you know they got the red vinegar right. That's the yellow. No, no. Which one? the oil is is clear and then yeah. the pink is got to yeah, be the vinegar. Yeah, but you can make vinegar all different ways. It's not just one way with like red wine and it's red vinegar. You yeah. can make vinegar with fruit. You can make vinegar with... Uh, well, red wine vinegar, that's fruit, right? Yeah. That's grapes, right? True, yeah. true. But um, I don't uh, know the best one vinegar. I've had was, uh, was vinegar made with fig. Ooh, I love figs. And you put mix that with oil and put that on a sandwich or a salad, whatever. That was really, really good. Oh, I think right, we're well, good. I guess we're going to save Are this for good? later. Yeah. So... I don't know if this is the only one of the videos we're going to have a whole sandwich left over. You don't see that very often, me not finishing food. <laughs> but I, I I, was just, I honestly, we're just going to order the six inch ones so we can eat them all. But then but when I, I heard but you I, were paying. But then, <laughs> but then when I heard, when I heard, when I heard, when I heard, I was paying. No. Yeah, he told me. No. Um, no, I mean, when I figured, nah, when's the next time I want to be down to Giuliano's? So I, I try to get down there when I can, but there's just so much things to eat down here. But this is one of the sandwiches I knew when I was doing my favorite sandwiches I had to do because, like I said, I grew up with this sandwich, and it's it's just so good. It's it just is. So good. It's, anyway. It's the simplest.